Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and uh, going to answer some questions about the future of Windows 10. Some of you have been asking a lot of little questions here and there and I thought I'd aggregate all of that in this video talking about what is happening uh, with Windows 10 in the future. Well, of course, uh, for those that are a little closer and maybe even insiders, you know that we are very close to what is the official release or version of uh, 20H1, which is the first version of the uh, 2020 year for Windows 10. So that is, of course, going to happen sometime in April. Version number is 2004. We know that it's probably April, but it's pretty much completed. And uh, some of you have been asking me, well, will that be kind of the new way of for the future? And what we know is that Microsoft did say that June and December are the two months where every versions of Windows 10 from now on and for the future will be completed. So that means that we are at the moment where 20, where version 20H1 is completed. Speculation, 20H1 would be completed by December 13th, apparently. So that's speculation, but uh, you know what? That would be probably the best and what will happen uh, to uh, let, you know, people at Microsoft go to the uh, Christmas holiday season, of course. So that would mean that 20H1 would be pretty much complete. It doesn't mean that it's finished in the sense that there will be cumulative updates. They'll be testing it for months to make sure that they, you know, dish out all the bugs and the problems. Um, every time, you know, you get a new Windows version, um, you guys notice that there's a cumulative update that comes with it. And that's because the cumulative update is there to, uh, of course, add bug fixes most of the time. Well, that's probably what's going to happen in the months ahead. Cumulative updates being pushed from time to time. All of that is going to probably happen in the slow ring. So the slow ring will be testing it out until the re official release, which we think is going to happen in April, uh, March or April of uh, 2020. <clears throat> that also means that 20H2, <clears throat> the next version of Windows, it's going to be tested in June of 2020. It's going to be ended in June 2020. It's going to be tested and finished June 2020. That means, of course, that it the insiders, once again, will be testing it out and getting that final uh, version in late June. And it won't, of course, be out until at least September, October. But once again, giving several months of testing. I think this is an interesting and a good idea because I think this means maybe that from now on, Windows 10 will be much more stable. We've had some disastrous releases of Windows 10, especially in the 2018 with the version 1803 and 1809 that a lot of people complained. There, there are some versions that were not the best. And this year we're okay. This year 1903 isn't bad. And November 2019, Adbay is rolling out really well. But you know what? I think it's great that they actually do this because chances are the next versions of Windows will be much better for um, everybody, thanks to this new way of testing out. Uh, questions on Windows 10 X. Do you think that laptops and computers will have that at some point? Well, we now know that Windows 10 X will not be only for uh, special foldable devices. It actually might come to laptops also. Uh, some two-in-ones might see it also. Is it going to be tested? That's another story. What's going to be the story with, um, you know, what happens here? Um, we, we don't know if, you know, Insider is going to test Windows 10X at some point. We don't really know that much. But we know one thing is that uh, Windows is, the Windows teams are separated in two right now. And it would seem that as we move ahead, what's happening is the core of Windows 10 is going to be um, kind of integrated into all versions being the same core. And that means that as we move ahead, there are going to be different versions, but all based on one same core, be it the desktop version, the Windows 10 X. And of course, there will be Windows 10 on ARM that will be, uh, of course, working in all of this. So interesting future. And 2020 will probably bring us 
some new surprises for sure in uh, in here. So uh, this is going to be interesting to see. So uh, if you have any questions about the future of Windows and Windows in general, let us know. And no, there's no Windows 11. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thanks for watching.